Hello guys, so in today's video we are going to see two awesome recruitment opportunities from Intel. Intel is one of the core companies and it is uh, one of the highly paying companies of electronics field. A lot of people ask me about job opportunities in Intel, how to get into Intel, what are the subjects you have to study when uh, to get placed in Intel, those questions. I am planning to make videos on those, different different videos, short, short videos or long videos. So definitely the answers will be out to you because this channel mainly focus on electronics based content okay so let us see the job opportunities if you are seeing the channel for the first time please consider subscribing one more thing there is a job opportunity video on qualcomm very uh, recently i have posted that is uh, still available please go check out the videos uh, in our channel okay so there is a recruitment opportunity from intel for the post of research fellow uh, and there is another recruitment which is for uh, soc physical design engineer okay so let us see the research fellow opportunity these both are entry level opportunities so research fellow they are hiring for bengaluru karnataka location let's have a look on this uh, job it is a contract employee don't worry this contract is for uh, three years but if your performance is good you will be definitely absorbed in the company that is the general case okay it's not that you after three years they will say that okay the contract is done you can go no uh, if your performance is good definitely you are going to be part of other teams you will definitely evolve in the company there is a lot of scope for uh, growth and development inside the company okay so they are hiring for research fellow Bangalore Karnataka uh, contract employee will see the contact details works uh, work mode they have given is on site is required means you have to be present in the site you cannot work from home but if you are having like some uh, requirements that uh, for specific some time period you want to work from home that kind of opportunities they will give okay now let's see this job description here processor architecture research lab is offering three year research fellowships in the following topics so for all these opportun for all these areas uh, there is research opportunity available not just for one area so there is multiple uh, employees hired for this research fellow post Okay, the first category is CPU architecture and micro architecture research. That is one category. Co design across system software, OS runtimes, compilers, and CPU and memory architecture to enable efficient next generation data center cloud services. Cross stack co optimized software plus hardware for next generation artificial intelligence applications, including generative AI. So these are the three categories. Mainly they are, uh, you know, it is hardcore electronics i would say it is cpu memory uh micro architecture it is hardcore electronics and they are hiring for this hardcore electronics field they are hiring for research fellows and it's for three years of fellowship so three different categories of uh job or categories of uh, fellowships is available now they have mentioned that candidates must be having a phd or advanced ms that is master master degree in uh, triple E CS from a top university. Research experience is highly desired either in graduate school or in industry. So definitely if you are studying for MTech or if you are studying nowadays even for BTech, there is research experience because in the final year, all the candidates of BBTech or ME MTech or PhD, they are doing research. So it is there with you if you are, if you have done an MTech or if you have done, done a BTech or if you are doing a PhD means it is full on research job. So it is there with you, okay. Technical expertise uh, of strong software expertise in C++, Perl, Python, and experience in cycle, accurate micro, uh, micro architecture, simulators, or system software, or expertise in VLSI design or uh, micro uh, or accelerator-based accelerator architecture, or expertise in emerging AI, cloud workloads, characterization, and workload-driven architecture. Okay, these are the qualifications required. Inside the business group, they have mentioned Intel Lab is a company's world-class industry-leading research organization. And they are responsible for driving Intel's technology pipeline and creating new opportunities. Okay, so they are talking about the research wing of uh, Intel. The mission of Intel Labs is to deliver breakthrough technologies to fuel Intel's growth. Okay, so they have mentioned that this is like the research, uh, research wing of intel so you will be part of the research wing of intel so you'll be doing some really good research work on the cpu architecture uh, micro architecture uh, system softwares uh, ai hardware software you know complete you will get a good exposure 
so if you are a phd candidate it is a must try job and if you are a ms mtech or mem tech candidates this is also a must try job okay so try this apply here lot of people are asking me about job opportunities in india so i really hope that those people watches this video yes let us jump to the next opportunity that is soc soc system on chip physical design engineer again bangalore karnataka we know that mainly intel is located in the bangalore location it is a technology hub okay so job category silicon hardware engineering work site on site is required experienced level means but only little bit of experience they are asking that's why i have taken this uh, job opportunity otherwise i would have skipped this okay let us see the qualification require you should possess a master degree in triple with at least 2 year of experience or a bachelor degree in triple with 3 year of experience if you have 3 year of experience with a btech or if you have an mtech with a 2 year of experience uh you are eligible additional qualification include knowledge of micro electronic design semiconductor devices cmos process and physical layout good understanding of uh complete physical design flow hands on experience in converging a uh, complex block from rtl gds2 with embedded micros and low power implementation experience with pcie or lpddr physics fi that is physics okay integration is an add on tape out of experience with good understanding of latest process nors drc so this is this is like hardcore electronic terms they have mentioned so this is a hardcore electronics job so if you have worked with like something uh, on the hardcore side on the microelectronics side or semiconductor side or semiconductor physics cmos vlsi related any job you have done that is something they are asking for also they are asking for some specific tools like good hands on knowledge on eda tools like synopsis uh, spyglass cadence lec ansys red hawk calibre good knowledge of scripting languages tcl shell hands on experience in developing utilities like tcl tk familiarity with hardware description languages verilog or system verilog okay very much very 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 important verilog or system verilog if you have a knowledge in this you can apply must b good team player efficient in working with cross functional geo teams with strong communication and leadership skills so this is again a very very hardcore electronics job you should be having 3 year of experience plus a btech or if you are having 2 year 2 uh, year of experience with an mtech you can apply here and your experience should be really valid okay if you are saying if you are claiming experience it shouldn't be like some uh, customer center experience or a call center experience it should be electronics related experience that is if you have worked with some project centers of electronics if you have worked with some you know uh, electronics related uh, companies some core companies it, it shouldn't be or it, it need not be uh, any uh, you know mnc at least a startup company or a project center or something related to electronics if you have worked 2 year or 3 years with the required qualification you can apply here okay Yeah, that's all for today's video. Both the links are in the description. Please don't directly jump to the description because many important things I will be telling in the video, which you won't be uh, understanding or you won't be uh, knowing. So it's a loss of time. So please watch the video, then go to the description, start applying. And if you're finding the videos useful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.